Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. Latest news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. So we're going to get on DJ MV. Now, as you guys know, I have been reporting on the whole DJ MV situation, I think, for like two months now. I first heard about it from my homeboy Star and Tony the Closer. I didn't know who Tony the Closer was before this, but I think I think he played football or something like that. But he's another influencer. And so he has been keeping his foot on DJ Envy's neck. Like I and I think DJ Envy was trying to sue him, which is weird because it's like, why are you trying to sue him but not Caesar Pena? But okay. So anyhow, what I find very interesting about the DJ Envy situation is this, right? I understand that sometimes you can connect with people and you may not know what they're up to. You know, you just want to help out. But from what I've researched, Caesar had done prison time for scamming. Like Caesar had all these felonies. I don't know. And it's not me being judgmental, you know, because you can go to prison, do your time and come out and, you know, change your life around, right? Because we want to give people a second chance. You know, once you paid your debt to society, you should be able to turn your life around. But that don't mean you're going to be coming on my fucking platform. That, I'm about, that doesn't mean I'm about to co-sign you. You can change your life around, but I'm not really going to co-sign you. And I, and I think, too, like, as influencers, right? And I don't care if you're a celebrity, a YouTuber, a TikToker, you know, Instagram, there's a such thing as integrity. And like I always tell y'all, our money is not good money. Y'all don't understand how many times I have turned down advertisements where people are going to pay me thousands of dollars because I'm like, this doesn't, it doesn't make any sense. I'm not going to sell this to my audience. Like established titles. They were going to pay me several thousand dollars to be a, a lord or a, or a lady in Ireland or some shit or Scotland. And I'm like, well, can I like travel to Scotland and go see my plot of land? Because, bitch, I actually buy land in real life and I've built a few homes. Like, I want to be able to build on my plot of land. And they're like, well, no, you really can't build on that. I said, so why would I sell that to my audience? It doesn't make any sense. So I turned that down. And that was a few thousand dollars. I could have took and be like, oh, yeah, y'all go buy this established titles bullshit. But it's just like, you know, I don't want to attach my brand to any and everything. It's not that serious to me. So, you know, you, you have to watch that. And I feel like he was getting a kickback. I don't care. I feel like... There was way too much promotion of DJ Envy and I mean, excuse me, of Cesar Pina on DJ Envy's platform. And you got to understand that with great power comes responsibility. For a, a majority of the population, we didn't know who Cesar Pina was. We found out about Cesar Pina on The Breakfast Club, the whole flipping NJ and, and you know, flip to dial and all that stuff. We found out about that because of DJ Envy. So now to try and distance himself, I'm sorry, it comes off as very, very disingenuous, right? And the thing that kind of bothered me with his conversation with Charlemagne, I didn't see any type of empathy. I didn't hear an apology. I didn't hear like, there was no empathy towards the people who invested because they trusted you, DJ Envy. It was just all this, I'm a victim too, I'm a victim too, but then I got to ask myself, when did you become a victim? And if you were a victim, why did you not go onto your platform and say, hey, y'all, this dude's a scammer. He scammed me out of money. I put money into this school. It wasn't built. Please, you guys, nobody invest anything else into Cesar Pena. He never did that. So for me, it's like I can't take it like you really care about the black community or your audience because you never came back and weren't nobody. Like, what type of shit is that? You know what I'm saying? Like, even I remember um, in 2020 when all those crypto people, they be in my DMs all the time. Like, oh, you know, we'll pay you $5,000 to promote this crypto. Y'all ain't never seen me promote no fucking crypto. I told y'all, I felt like a lot of these crypto things were a Ponzi scheme. I remember going back and forth with people on the Discord. Oh, you're sitting here, you know what I'm saying, throwing shade at Dogecoin. I said, I'm not throwing shade. If you invested early, get your bag. I'm not mad at you. But you got to understand, if you're trying to run and go invest now, you're going to be left holding the bag. 
Remember, I was saying all this shit in 2020. So it's like I never came on here and promoted any of that because I understand that I have a platform and I don't ever want my audience to put themselves in a situation where they lose their money, their life savings because of me, because I gave them bad advice or bad investments and stuff like that. That's why I don't get into that. People are like, oh, you should do, you know, you should tell people how you got into housing and all that stuff. No, people need to do their own research because if it don't work for you, y'all are not about to drag me and be like, well, Lovely T said, well, I know Lovely T ain't said shit. Do your own research, you know what I'm saying? And before you invest anything, like th this is your money. This is what you're building, your generational wealth for your family. So you should know what you're investing into. So I think that DJ Envy does owe his audience a lot better than him trying to distance himself. So we're going to first listen to his conversation with Charlemagne. And then we're going to watch this news clip that came out. So let me go ahead and pull this up really quick. Give me just a second. Because it's a lot of mush mouth shit all of a sudden, especially when he wasn't even speaking or addressing this before. So hold on, let me share my screen real quick here. It's DJ Eve and Slippin' and Jay. <laughs> I'm sorry, that lives in my head rent free. I'm sorry. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and listen. Um, there's been a lot going on, Charlene. Grab your tiny violins. There's been a, a million and one accusation. Oh my God, no! I'm being serious. So, so let me explain some things. I'm, I'm not my attorney. Don't want me to speak, but I think there's things that I need to clear up a little. Bit. I think you should listen to your attorney. Why do I think people like listen? Like your attorney doing your thing. Like why are you talking? Listen. So Caesar and myself did seminars. Now, the reason I did these seminars is because I wanted to uplift my community. I wanted to teach my community about real estate things that I didn't know when I was first buying my first home. I wanted to teach our community about investing in generational wealth. So I did these seminars and brought industry professionals to all these seminars, whether it was real estate agents from different markets, contractors, uh, conventional lenders, hard money lenders. I even brought auction.com to actually show people how to purchase houses online. That's what I wanted to do for my people. Now, Caesar, if he took money, I wasn't privy to it, nor did I even know. I do understand how people feel if they did give her money because I gave them a lot of money. Jeez. But I didn't see a dollar of return. But for, for anybody to say I was involved, that's uplift people and show people a different way through the business mind. And I would never take a dollar from somebody. I, I could be wrong, but I didn't see nobody accusing you of taking money. I just saw them say that they met Caesar because they heard you talking about Caesar. Not it. They basically said I was privy to it. And that wasn't true. From what I read in actual court papers, I didn't see that. They said that the, all these people were saying that they met season because of the same as somebody accusing you of taking no money. To the point where if, if you read the court documents, Caesar wrote an affidavit that says DJ Envy with Sean Casey had no knowledge of me investing people's money. I saw that. He wasn't there, he wasn't part of those conversations, he wasn't even nowhere in those meetings. And those are, those are documents that's out there. So if you're going to talk about truth, let's talk about the truth. And those are the documents out there. And well, I can't talk about the truth yet because your lawyers don't want you talking at all. So the smart thing to do is I understand you want to say something to the listeners, and, I, and I'm sure the listeners appreciate it. But man, just wait until all the dust settles. When all the dust settles, then we can be on this radio and have a real conversation. So I just, I don't, you know, I don't think you should be saying any of this, but just me. Look at you. You can't even help yourself. What else you want to say now? But what you just said, you can have a real conversation with, with those well, difficult because the stuff that you're hearing is like, that's totally not true. Like, it's not true. Like, well, that's, that's, that's fake news. Like, that's your stories. That should be enough. And you know what the truth is. You know what the truth is. Don't worry about it. Because the truth don't need no defense. It just needs, the truth don't need no defense. Just what is That's it. Well, Okay. Well, you look very suspicious because you might be just a minute. Right? Looks like the grades are coming in right here in the back. All right, next. You know, Charlamagne about to be on that weirdo stuff. So, um, I don't know what was going on for most people so they could hear it. So just it's all the way turned up on my end, y'all. Like I said, put on y'all's earbuds. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just what kind of bothered me with him addressing this now. I'm gonna keep it real with y'all. 
I feel like he's only addressing this now that the white media is involved. Okay. Um, when it was Tony the Closer, Star, uh, think what's his name? Pocket watching with JT and like other black people. They were like, hey, you know, what is going on, DJ MV? People are saying that they didn't, you know, they invested money. Um, they're not seeing a return on their investment. When black folks were like speaking out on social media, it was ignored. But I noticed once like the white dudes got involved because Spencer Cornelia, he goes after a lot of scam artists and stuff. Once the white media got involved, now all of a sudden I feel like he's speaking because if you guys don't know, Spencer did a video... He's done two DJ Envy videos that have basically gone viral on YouTube. So we're going to just watch the beginning of Spencer's video here. Um, and then also he was on the news. Like he made the local news once again. So I feel like this is the only reason why DJ Envy is speaking. So we're just going to watch a snippet of Spencer's video here. Let me make sure this is turned up. Okay. The first video I made covering this story went crazy. Many of you are saying Caesar should be in prison. Some of you want DJ Envy in prison too. After releasing the video, it fully hit me how large this Ponzi scheme is. After a few more victims sent me DMs on Instagram stating they lost a combined $700,000 to Caesar, I realized this is far bigger than I imagined. I even interviewed a real estate attorney based in New Jersey to help assist in understanding what's next in this case. Are Caesar Pena and DJ Envy going to end up in prison? So far, only civil lawsuits have been filed against Caesar. Pena and DJ Envy. Why haven't we seen any criminal charges yet? Well, obviously the government still needs to investigate the case before they come forward with charges. Let me don't... say these. Let me say this. These white boys on YouTube do not be playing. His ass really went and got a lawyer from New Jersey. <laughs> he was like, I'm bringing in a lawyer from New Jersey to add some questions. All these white boys on YouTube don't be playing, bitch. To investigate the case in graphic detail. They're gonna get as much evidence as they can. They're gonna compile it together and then they're gonna move forward guns blazing. They're gonna speak to every victim. They're gonna speak to attorneys. They're gonna gather information. They're gonna get all all evidence that they have that they can use against them. They're gonna have it ready before they move forward with their case. Unfortunately, it takes time for the federal authorities to gather substantial evidence necessary to win in court, but Caesar's time is coming. See my dreams unfold, nightmares come true. It was time to marry my prison cell and I said, yeah, I do. Here's DJ Envy daydreaming about being innocent in this Ponzi scheme. So really, I think the question's gonna rely on- <laughs> All right, y'all gotta go watch his whole video. He's funny, I, I like Spencer. Um, I did have to give him the side eye a while back when he wasn't calling out his buddies when all that shit went down with um, FTX, but but, okay. Um, so, I don't know. That part just had me cracking up. Okay, so now, I want, we're going to watch the, <laughs> yes, he went and got a lawyer, honey. I said, oh, they do not be playing. He's like, I went and hired a lawyer from the state of New Jersey to answer my questions. <laughs> He's a mess. Okay, so, that was his second video on DJ Envy. So, now, the news out there, um, in Jersey, they're definitely talking about it now too. So let me share this tab. We're gonna watch this is this is kinda long, so we're gonna watch this together here. Let me minimize myself. All right. This is why DJ MV is speaking out. Deal. Investors in a real estate venture say they were swindled out of millions of dollars. And they argue syndicated radio rapper Rashawn Casey, better known as DJ Envy from the show The Breakfast Club, promoted these deals. Investigative reporter Sarah Wallace talked to the alleged victims and has the response to those mounting accusations you're about to hear for the first time. We've helped so many people, not just regular people, but celebrities, mm -hmm. athletes, executives. That's and DJ Envy on his syndicated iHeart Radio show, The Breakfast Club. He's often promoted the real estate venture of his pal, Cesar Pena. You might know him on Instagram as Flippin' NJ. But it's more than just a passing endorsement. You could partner with us on some deals. Make some money with us. Envy and Cesar have teamed up for seminars, including one at the Jacob Javits Convention Center, pitching opportunities 
communities to flip properties, often in distressed areas of New Jersey. We invested $200,000 and looks like we're never going to get it back. Jose Santiago and his wife Jessica Ortiz say they believed investing in this neighborhood of Patterson would be their ticket to the American dream. That's the reason why I got into real estate so we can actually start flipping properties, buying properties so we can have something for our kids in the future. The couple says they connected with entrepreneur Caesar after seeing him on social media with DJ Envy. He's advertising this all over the radio and on television. I've seen shows on him all over the place, so I thought this was legit. The pitch to invest in rundown properties that would be renovated and flipped for more money. The promise to return up to 30 percent. In some cases, Caesar didn't even own the properties. This couple took out $200,000 in equity from their Florida home, promised that 30 percent return within four months. Then they say nothing. I'm paying the interest right now every month, and I have nothing. Well, at this point, we just want our money back. Nigel Chamblin says he was conned by Caesar into investing $235,000 in that same Patterson property, along with two others, $300,000 each for homes in Hawthorne and in Maplewood. $835,000 in total on all three houses. There were other people investing in the exact same properties. It was a scam. It was a lie. <laughs> Augie Rios owns a custom auto wrap shop in Lodi, who says he worked on Envy's cars for years and believed his pitch. He did get back a return on an initial investment with Caesar, but maintains a second investment on this Patterson property went south. If it wasn't for DJ Envy, I would have never invested into Caesar. I lost a total of $64,000. After receiving two bounce checks, Rio says he got a visit from Caesar carrying this box of jewelry. He said, uh, take this jewelry until I can pay you back. How much did he say this was worth? 15, 20 grand. Then there's record producer Anthony Martini, who invested in what he thought was a promising apartment project in Patterson. I lost a million dollars. And you went in because of DJ Envy. Uh, yeah, I did. I mean, you know, I'd, I'd known Envy for for years. Martini's attorney has filed a lawsuit. Uh, it's some sort of Ponzi-like scheme where he's taking money uh, from one investor to pay off other other investors. You're looking at over forty million dollars invested with the Pinas and their companies. Breaking news here on Tony DeClosa's live. The complaint floodgates opened up when alleged victims started appearing on the social media platform of influencer Tony the Closer, a self-proclaimed real estate scam watchdog. I decided to make it where everybody would know the, the, the disgusting behavior that they're practicing. Dozens of lawsuits have now been filed against Caesar and his wife. Several also name Envy, who has sued Tony the Closer for defamation after also going on with him live. And there's nobody in here that could ever say Envy, they gave Envy a dollar. Envy, whose real name is Rashawn Casey, declined to talk to the I-team, referring us to a powerful Manhattan real estate attorney. He says the radio personality lost half a million dollars to the Pinas in an investment deal to transform this vacant school building in Patterson into rental units. He is a victim, just like the other alleged victims are in connection with the scam. Why, if he's a victim, hasn't he filed a lawsuit against the Pinas? He has a legal right to file whenever he deems fit. He is now contending with cases that are being filed every day improperly against him. Why not come out on his radio show and warn other alleged victims if he feels that he was? This is a, it's an ongoing, uh, there are ongoing litigations. Uh, and, and there's no room for them on, you know, any sort of radio show. A lot of people say they bought in because of Envy's reputation. Does he not have some responsibility? Absolutely not. The only reason why Envy is sued is to sensationalize the case. The attorney is seeking dismissals of all the lawsuits. As for the Pinas, we caught up with Caesar's wife, Jennifer, in Bergen County. Do you have anything to say to the alleged victims? I say, you know, just hold tight and we're going to come through. You know, where's the money? Listen, that's a Caesar answer for you. I can't give you that answer. He wants to be here with you. He wants to do the sit down. He wants to have this interview. He wants to clear the air. He wants to explain his side and he wants people to understand what's going on. But, you know, he's been advised to not talk. 
there may be some hope for investors. A judge has appointed a bankruptcy court trustee to oversee some of the Pena's properties. Any available assets could eventually be sold off to pay alleged victims. From Patterson, Sarah. All right, let me come back on the screen, child. Hold on. Okay, so y'all just watch that. It is getting real. And again, I, and I like this news lady. She was asking some real questions. Like I said, if he knew and he was scammed too, why has he not taken to the Breakfast Club? And I'm talking about way before the lawsuits, way before the whole Tony the Closer thing, because he claimed, initially when he talked to Tony, he claimed that he wasn't scammed. Then he came out and said that, well, you know, he lost on some investments. So if you lost on some investments dealing with Caesar, why would you not in, in return tell your audience that? Why would you not tell your friends in the industry? Why would you not warn other people? Why would you just distance yourself from him but not let the people who trust you? Because again, everybody met Cesar Pena through DJ Envy. So I just think that was very, very irresponsible of him. Um, and again, like she said, he has all these lawsuits for Tony and I think the credit dude and all these other people why is he not suing? Why is he not suing Caesar Pena? Because that's the person who really has him in hot water. That's who he should have went after first. Like, yo, I gave you a platform. You know, what I'm saying I co-signed you, and you're out here making me look bad. So why is he not suing him? That should have been the first person that he sued, besides you know some bloggers on the internet. So I just find that like really interesting. Um, it's just it. The whole thing is sad all the way around because again. So many times in our community, people do get scammed. I don't care if it's like Dana Chanel with the fucking credit repair and the apps and stuff that she was selling. And I told y'all that years ago, she was on some bullshit. But again, everybody said I was ugly and I was a hater. And then we find out three years later, she's a scammer and I was right. So y'all gotta be really, really careful. You know what I'm saying? With who y'all trust, especially when it comes to investments. You know, 30% ROI, that's not the typical. And then, you know, also, too, when you're talking about real estate investments, yes, in a perfect world, some people can do a flip and make money in 30 days. That's usually not the norm. You know what I'm saying? 30, 60, you know, and it depends on, like, how everything is set up. Like, I remember some guy left a comment on my video and was like, oh, I flipped houses and made money in less than 60 days. Yeah, if you have a good team. If you have, you know, if you have a solid team of contractors who know how to go in and get the work done, sometimes the permit, even when I bought this land and we started digging, we had to push everything back a month because all the permits didn't come through yet. Because you have to have special permits for like gym, for the gym and all this other stuff. So sometimes the permits can push stuff back an additional 30 days. So it's like him promising an ROI in 30 to 60 days guaranteed is bullshit. There's nothing normally guaranteed in real estate. You know what I'm saying? And again, yes, you can get a return on investment within six months, but that's if you have a solid team. Where was Caesar's solid team? Did he have a solid team of damn masonry guys and, you know what I'm saying, people who did framing and drywall? I don't think he did because why was he... Uh, some people were attached to the same house. So if he had a solid team, they were able to, to knock these houses down and rebuild them quickly within 60 days. Why was he attaching multiple victims to the same property? Some of the property he didn't even own. He didn't even own them. He was just making up deeds. So this was a straight up Ponzi scheme. And anybody saying that it wasn't and making excuses, they're just blinded because DJ Envy is a celebrity. You know, I don't know how much involved he's you know in with this i don't know um you know could he be a victim absolutely but again he still bears some responsibility because he bought him on the breakfast club he promoted him and once he knew he was a scammer he didn't say shit he never said anything until tony the closer and other people started bringing it up until the victim started coming out that's when he wanted to speak and this has been going on since about may it's now october and he's just now speaking about this so i find that funny that he's only talking about it now that the white youtubers are on it now that it's on the mainstream news now he's talking about it but when the black youtubers were like hey what's going on you know what i'm saying something's not right with this it was crickets so y'all just be careful Y'all be careful.
If you want the latest news in the streets, join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity, so tell your friends and your family. It's the Lovely Tea TV Show, bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the Lovely Tea TV Show, be sure to share, like, and subscribe.